Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert and move a page break in a worksheet. Let's get started. So I have a worksheet here. It has my customers on the left, as well as six months of customer records. As I scroll down, you can see that I have 50 different customers, and it's going to take up more than one page to print this. You can actually set up where Excel breaks your pages within a document, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. First off, we should see how it's breaking by default. If I go to the file tab, Tab, and I go to print, I can see that currently I have my customer list, it goes down to customer 45, and then on the next page it has just five records. So sometimes you may want to split this a little bit more evenly between the two pages, and I'm going to do that in this example. So if I click the back button, I could then change the view to the page break view. Also notice that on the default view, you may now have this dotted line that goes along the right side, as well as a vertical line right here at, or sorry, a horizontal line right here at 45, and this lets you know where Excel is breaking uh, the page on your worksheet. And so if I want to break the page at a different spot, say in between 25 and 26, first thing I have to know is uh, where the page break view is. So if I go up to the View tab, and I go to the Workbook Views group, I can see this one right here, Page Break Preview. And this, is, this will help you see where the page breaks will appear on your document when it's printed out. And so if I go right here, it's going to zoom me out and I can see page one is up here and page two is down here. First off, let's learn how to move a page break. And so I'm gonna go right here and hover over the dotted line down here uh, in between records 45 and 46 and you'll see that I get a vertical arrow okay pointing up and down if I click and drag this is how we move a page break and then I just click and drag up from that dotted line in between 25 and 26 and now you'll see page 1 is now here page 2 is here with the blue line being the vertical bar in the middle Alright, so uh, that's where my pages are currently broken. Now, let's say that I wanted to preview this. I could then go to the home, or sorry, the file tab, print, and you'll see I have my first 25 records as well as my next 25 records. So that's how we move a page break. Now let's learn how to insert a page break. If I go back to the, uh, or if I click back the back button, it'll take me back to the page break preview. Now let's learn how to insert a page break. Page breaks occur uh, in the top left of your active cell. So if I just hit a page break right here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see where I'm at. I'm currently on cell B8. If I were to insert a page break right now, it would actually break the page at, in between column A and B, as well in between rows 7 and 8. Let me show you what that would look like. If I go to the page layout tab, and go to the page setup group, I'm going to see this button right here for breaks. Then I could click breaks and go to insert page break. And as I said, it's in the top left of the current cell that you're active in. So I'm active on B8. Watch what happens when I insert the page break. The break occurred at the top left of that cell. So to the left of it, being in between columns 1 and 2, or sorry, columns A and B, and above it on rows 7 and 8. Obviously, I input this one. It's going to make these pages look very strange because you can see page one, page two, page three, and then four, five, and six are way different sizes. This doesn't look good. So now I'm going to teach you how to remove a break. To remove a break, you go to the cell right here in which the top left corner is where the break is at. So in this case, cell B8, and then I go to the page layout tab, page setup group, breaks, and you click remove page breaks. Okay. If you ever get to a point in your document where you don't know, uh, or here, let me show you this first. Remove page break, and you'll see it gets rid of that page break. So now we just have the one break in between 25 and 26. If you ever get to the point in your document where you've messed up your page breaks and you just want to return them all to your default, you can go right here to Page Layout tab, Page Setup Group, Breaks, and you can choose Reset All Breaks. And you'll see now we have page one and page two split back in between 45 and 46 like they were before. Now I'm going to show you how to insert a break above or rather in between rows on your uh, worksheet which is probably just as common as in between columns. So if I go right here and let's say that I wanted to split these uh, in rows or in between uh, page breaks as 15 right here and so you can, you can see right here is record 15. If I click on this cell right here in between 15 and 16 for my customer number, okay, and that's on row 17 in this case, and I insert a page break, watch what happens. I clicked on row 17 
on the actual 17 itself, page layout tab, page setup group, insert page break, and you'll now see that page one contains my first 15 customers. <clears throat> Let's do the same thing for the next 15 customers. All right, so I'm gonna go right here to where it says 31, okay? Because remember, page breaks always occur above and to the left. So in this case, if I click on uh, record or row 32, where customer 31 is displayed, if I insert the page break, insert break, you'll see now it's split between our next 15 customers. I could do it again in between 45 and 46, insert the page breaks, and there we go. Now we have page one, page two, page three, and page four. And I could see this right here. If I go to my print, there's my first 15, my next 15, the next 15, and finally the last five. Remember at any time if you mess up your breaks, you could reset them all by going to breaks and choosing reset all breaks. Now I'm going to show you how to split between different columns. Okay, So if I know that I just want the customer in January to show up in one column, I'm going to go right here to breaks and I'll go to insert page break. But first I have to make sure that I go to column C and select it knowing that the break will occur to the left. Again, page breaks always occur to the top or to the left of your active cell. So I go to breaks, insert page break, and there we go. We have the customer in January in one, February, March, April, May, June. I could put breaks in between all of these if I wanted to as well. And so I'll do that now so that you can see how this would look. And so this would put breaks in between each of those columns. And you can see that here. Customer with January, January, February, February, March, March, April, April, May, all the way through June. There we go. So that's how we insert custom column breaks as well. All right. We're going to remove all page or reset all page breaks back to the default. And once again, to move them, you just click and drag from that dotted line up to your record of choice, release your mouse, and then you'll see that the page break will occur. To go back uh, to to go back to your normal view, you go back to the view tab and go to normal in the workbook views group, and you'll now see where the breaks occur. All right, so that's uh, basically everything I think you'll need to know about page breaks. That's how to insert and move page breaks around your worksheet, as well as remove and reset all page breaks. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.